What would you say is now the number one cause of death in the African American community? Heart disease. Oh, AIDS. Uh, diabetes. Cancer. Uh, AIDS. I say heart disease. AIDS. From what I heard, it's probably AIDS. You know. Probably heart disease. Um, I think heart disease. Oh, uh, HIV. Oh. Gang violence. What if I told you the real answer was abortion? Uh. Since 1973, legal abortion has killed more African Americans than AIDS, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and violent crime combined. Every week, more blacks die in American abortion clinics than were killed in the entire Vietnam War. And the largest chain of abortion clinics in the United States is operated by Planned Parenthood. We have now reached a point in this country that African American women, though they make up 12% of the population, they account for 30 seven percent of the abortions. An African-American baby is almost five times more likely to be aborted than a white child. The abortion industry at this point kills as many African-American people every four days as the Klan killed in 150 years. And you can truly say the most dangerous place for an African-American to be is in the womb of their African-American mother. All across America, you can stand outside of the abortion clinics and see a steady stream of black women coming in and out. But somewhere along the way, we got the idea that this is a white issue or a conservative issue or a Republican issue, and therefore, it's not an issue that we have to be concerned about. This same attitude has allowed Planned Parenthood and other members of the abortion industry to carry out this genocide right under our very noses. Right now, in America, about half of our babies are being killed in the womb. And in certain parts of America, more of our babies are being aborted than are being born. When 17,000 aborted babies were found in a dumpster outside of a pathology laboratory in Los Angeles, California, some 12 to 15,000 were observed to be black. Irma Clardy Craven, Chairman, Minneapolis Commission on Human Rights and Secretary of the Urban League. People cannot have it both ways. First they say that birth control will reduce the number of abortions. Then they flood our neighborhoods with birth control clinics. And what's the result? Our abortion rate skyrockets. So, Either they lied about the fact that birth control would reduce abortions in our neighborhoods, or this is the results and the purpose they wanted from the beginning. At this point, I truly have the tendency to believe the latter. When you study the Nazi Holocaust, you can see these films of Jews running into ditches to be shot in the head. You can even see films of them actually walking into the gas chamber. And it's tempting to ask yourself why they didn't fight back. I mean, if you're going to be killed anyway, what do you have to lose? Perhaps the answer is that they simply could not believe it was really happening. Maybe the normal human mind is just not wired to accept that your fellow man is capable of such senseless brutality on such a scale even when you see it happening with your own eyes. As African Americans, we need to recognize that we are doing the same thing. We need to understand that terms like pro-choice and reproductive rights and family planning are nothing more than marketing slogans. They're just code words that organizations like Planned Parenthood use to hide the fact that we're voluntarily submitting to the will of those who have been trying to exterminate us since the day slavery ended. 